All right, all right, all right. Today on this video, we're going to talk about um, inductive coupling. Um, right here, I got set up my corral. This is from my experiments of the of the um, Colorado Springs experiments. Now this is a new coil I built. I have it polyurethane, about a quarter inch. It's pretty thick. This is, um, you can see how thick that is on there. It is real thick. It's a 24 gauge wire. It's 10 hundred, it's a 1058 turns. Um, so 1,058 turns. It's resonant frequency. Um, is I, I believe it was at 347 kilohertz. And what I wanted to show you guys, um, I, st I have these capacitors I built. They're beer bottles. Each one is almost a nanofarad. And I started off with uh, four bottles in the center. And so it was four nanofarads and try to tune this coil to this corral, this primary, okay? And um, what I had to do was I had to be at the very end um, to see four bottles start to show up, holding up a light bulb and stuff. And what I started to do was work my way down and from the very end here, I got about here. So I was one, two, three, four, and three quarter turns, okay, of wire, which is equivalent to about 50 feet of wire I have on here. So about 47 feet maybe. Um, yeah, well no, 40, a little bit more than that. I didn't take, I took off about two feet, so about 48 feet. Um, I started to see sparks coming out um, when you pulled the bulb up. So, little action. Um, but nothing was breaking out on its own because nothing was, uh, I was getting my tuning on. So, it was a really good uh, way for people out there working on their Tesla coils to tune their um, capacitance, their primary capacitance and their top load capacitance to the secondary um, by working down the wire. So then I went ahead and I came and I put five bottles and then I went from over here and I started dialing in. And the more capacitance I added, the better result at the top load and the further, the shorter I made the wire, okay, the primary. And you got to think about that. You can see, look at the, first of all, look how thick this poly, poly is on here. This is a resin, actually. It's resin. It's a resin for fiberglass, so just a resin. You got to put it on there, pour it, make it hot, and then just turn it, and it'll level itself out. Um, but think about the distance here of this coupling, this uh, energy transfer from this primary wire to this. Now I have this top here is at four inches high and let me get my tape measure. Okay. So my tape measure from the table is about three and a half inches tall and it starts from an inch. So my grounding plane down here is an inch. So when you come over here to to the start of the secondary, an inch puts us here. Okay. Right about there. And then two inches. And then you know, it's three inches. So that puts me three inches right there. So basically as I change the placement on my primary here I'm now changing the uh, I'm changing the height here of what this is on top and working down so you can see that 
there's almost a plane kind of uh, balancing that's going on here because um, <clears throat> right now we are right now we're tapped right here so we're setting right here you can see where I started I was talking about uh, we're set here we are one two turns okay and we're sitting with um, 14 14 capacitors 14 nanofarads okay so you can see how I got to 14 nanofarads and I'll fire up the coil you'll see break out on its own I mean it's a start and what I want to do is do a set of series of videos showing you guys I got this one that I'm designing right now this is going to be wrapped with uh, 22 gauge wire at 1258 turns and uh, it's going to have a frequency of 237 and I'm going to put it in here and then we're going to tune the outside to the um, the coil and then we're going to go over how we do this. Um, this is uh, uh, my way of showing uh, you guys out there building your Tesla coil the important parts of all the components and how you figure your, figure it out. So this is process here is by using a software online that's called Java Script, and Java is a calculator for a Tesla coil. So here is. Uh, the start and basically we'll have our um, our output data on our secondary and then we'll have our primary output data on its uh, on the primary obviously